Good morning, everyone. This is Marshall Gettler bringing you the morning comment for November 14th. It was a fairly quiet day in the financial markets, but a huge day for oil. With little news, uh, the dollar was just generally higher. The main thing, though, was that oil prices plunged. Uh, the, uh, there are various reasons. Uh, in the background is really disappointment over OPEC's refusal to cut production at its upcoming meeting on November 27th. Instead, it's been cutting export prices to the U.S., where there's already a glut of oil. It's apparently on trying to force high-cost U.S. shale producers out of the market. The decline in oil prices is going to have a beneficial effect on global economies. It leaves consumers with more money in their pockets, and so it helps consumption. But it lowers inflation rates further. That makes it difficult for debt-strapped countries like Italy, for example, to repay their debts. The collapse of oil prices is bad news for the commodity-producing countries, of course, and indeed the Canadian dollar was the second worst performing G10 currency last night after sterling, which is still suffering the aftereffects of Wednesday's uh, inflation report. Over the last 10 years, the currency pairs most sensitive to oil prices have been dollar noki, dollar cad, Aussie dollar, Aussie yen, and dollar real. Look in a shorter time frame, the last two years, dollar ruble tops the list. And Dollar Mexico is fairly high up in the list as well. Take a look at the list, which I've got in the uh, list of the correlations in the research note on our website today. As for today's indicators, uh, during the European day, the big thing is the preliminary GDP data for, um, for the third quarter. France and Germany have already been announced. Uh, they were both in line with expectations. That makes it more likely that the Eurozone as a whole will be in line with expectations too. Forecasts are for Eurozone activity to have expanded a mere 0.1% uh, quarter on quarter from a stagnating Q second quarter. In other words, no growth in Europe at all. A weaker number could, if it comes, could be the catalyst to push the Euro dollar below 124, the figure again, in my view. Separately, Eurozone's final CPI for October is expected to remain unchanged from its flash estimate of 0.4% year on year. In the U.S., retail sales for October is forecast to rise 0.2% month on month. That's a turnaround from a decline in September. Uh, similarly, retail sales excluding volatile items of autos and gasoline are also expected to have risen uh, a rebound from the previous month. After last month's unexpected drop, a rebound this month could strengthen the dollar. The preliminary U of Michigan consumer competence sentiment for November is also coming out. As for Friday's speakers, uh, Fed Vice Chairman Stanley Fisher will moderate a panel discussion in Washington with several of his Fed colleagues, plus the ECB's Mr. Coor. For more information, including technical analysis, please read the full comment on ironfx.com. You can also follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or circle us on Google Plus to get more trading ideas. This is Marshall Gittler, Head of Global FX Strategy at IronFX Global, wishing you solid trading.